Welcome to this SFTP Gateway tutorial by Thorn Technologies. My name is Bryce, and in this video, I will be showing you the multi-cloud functionality of SFTP Gateway. First, we will create an admin web user and then sign in with the credentials we just specified. We will now configure a first cloud connection. In this scenario, a cloud storage location is Azure Blob Storage. Enter a storage account and container name, and then enter your cloud connection credentials. I'll be using Instance Identity, which you can learn to configure by watching our video. Link is in the description below. Test the connection to make sure it is configured correctly, and then click Save. Next. Go to the Users tab and click Add User. Configure a unique username and an authentication method. In this scenario, I'll be using a password. Once you've configured your user, click Save. Now, we'll use the SFTP user you just created to upload a file to our cloud connection. If we go into our container and look, we will see that the file has uploaded successfully. Now, we will go back to the admin web portal and under settings, configure another cloud connection. This time, we will be using Google Cloud Services. Configure a unique name, a bucket, and your cloud connection credentials. Finally, click Test Connection to make sure everything is valid, and then click Save. Go to the Folders tab, and then once you're under your user, click Add Folder. Configure a name for the folder. We will be using Google, since under the Cloud Connection, we will be choosing the Cloud Connection we just configured, which is named Google. Then click Save. We will now open a new connection to our user, and there you will see the folder we just created. Upload a file to the folder, and once the file has successfully uploaded, check the bucket and you will see the file there. You also have the ability of moving files between Google and Azure and vice versa. So, if you go back to our connection and drag the folders file into the Google folder, and then click into the Google folder, you'll see that both files are there. Refresh the bucket, and there you see. That's all for this video. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our SFTP Gateway videos and tutorials. Thank you, and have a splendid day.